I have tried so many different shine sprays on my horses and the one thing that seems to be consistent no matter which spray I'm using is it tends to dry their coat out. So even if they look great when I first put it on them, after using it over and over again, their coats get really dry. So then I decided to try all natural products that I'm sure you've seen advertised on Facebook and Instagram. And while I really like that they're all natural, they just didn't seem to work as well and the shine really wasn't there. So I decided to tackle this project on my own and I decided to make my own shine spray for my horses. And that's what today's video is going to show you how to do, how to make your own all natural shine spray for your horse. my equestrian friends it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to another video and it's really windy today it is supposed to be 72 degrees I agree with frisbee that's pretty awesome and then tomorrow it's supposed to be like 10 degrees and snowing six to eight inches or something so I figured I'd make the most of today the sunshine that I have even though it is windy still get to be outside and playing with my ponies and even though it's the middle of winter right now and Frisbee is not the perfect candidate for showing how great this shine spray is, the spray really does work great in the winter time too, even if you can't see the results. Okay, that's enough of me going on and on. Let me show you how to make your own shine spray. It all starts with a good feeding program and lots of grooming, specifically currying. Now, when you curry your horse, this really helps to get the oils moving from down deep in his coat up to the surface and it coats all of the hairs with the natural oil that your horse produces. But in order to add a little bit of extra something, you can make this shine spray, which is also really good for your horse's coat. To make your own shine spray, you really don't need a lot of fancy stuff, so to say. So to start with, you need a spray bottle. For myself, I decided to get one of the misting type spray bottles. And this is about $10 on Amazon, but it holds 24 ounces of fluid and it works really well. I've tested out some of the other spray bottles, spray mister bottles, and by far this one works the best. Next, you're going to need some coconut oil and this is fractionated coconut oil. So that means that it stays in a liquid form. It's not gonna get hard. So you don't want to use regular coconut oil that we use like on our horse's hooves and things like that. Make sure that it says fractionated coconut oil. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, you'll also need some vegetable glycerin. You'll need white vinegar, witch hazel, and aloe vera. And you can either use aloe vera like a liquid if you can find it or aloe vera gel. And then you can add some scent to your shine spray. You can use essential oils, which are great, and they are safe to use on horses. You're not using very much, and they are not ingesting the essential oils. It's just going into the spray that you're making, and it's really diluted, so it's not going to harm your horse, I promise. You can use different essential oils, and your shine spray can then double as a insect repellent as well. I wanted to try something a little bit different with my shine spray, so I found these fragrance oils on Amazon and I decided to add some fragrance to my horse's shine spray. Okay, so you have all of your ingredients. So now all you gotta do is put them into your spray bottle. So I have a little tiny funnel that works really well for putting stuff in a spray bottle. So I use my little funnel and then I just add all of the ingredients to the bottle itself. And if you'd like to know the exact measurements that I used for this shine spray, you can go to my website, which is budgetequestrian.com. And I have a blog post over there where I break down all of the ingredients as well as where you can purchase the ingredients in case you wanted to make this spray.
right, so now we have all of our ingredients in our spray bottle. Just give it a little shake, and as you can see, the spray bottle isn't completely full. So what you do is just add water to fill the spray bottle to the top. I like to leave a little bit of space because that way I have room to shake it. And that's it. Now all you gotta do is go put it on your horse. So you can apply this either with a brush or you can just spray it on. I like to brush it in, especially in the winter time. The oils in the spray help to decrease the static that can build up when really tends to build up on <laughs> Pleasant. He gets shocked all the time and then he gets really angry with me. So I don't like to shock him. So I use this shine spray and then oils in it help to decrease that chance that I could accidentally shock him with static, even though it's on his hair. Then I like to use a rag and just really rub it and massage it into the horse's coat. And this can really help bring out some extra shine. Now, right now, it's not a very good example of showing how shiny this can actually make your horse because it is winter time. But Frisbee has a very, very thick and dense winter coat. And by putting this spray on him, you can see it's actually laying his coat down really nicely. So it really works. And I can't wait to show you guys this in the summertime when both of my horses are shedded out. Ooh, and something else really neat with this shine spray is you can use it in the saddle area. This will not get slippery, so it's okay to use it where you put your saddle. Now hopefully that gives you an idea of how to go about making your own shine spray for your horse. And the best part about this shine spray is the more you use it, the better your horse's coat is going to be. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects, product reviews, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Well, now I have to go put Frisbee out because he's getting really impatient of being my model. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> he's so impatient.